Okay, so right now I'm gonna share with you guys some behind the scenes of how the monitor performs when it's being hit by direct sunlight out in the middle of a park. So this is the type of reflection that you can expect if you're not using the hood, as well as whether you're able to monitor the image or not. So we got some BTS rolling now that I'll be sure to share. And hopefully you guys can judge for yourselves how this monitor performs in this environment. Welcome back to another video. What am I going to do when somebody sends over a seven inch monitor and they tell me that it is super bright and that it is completely daylight viewable? Probably the brightest monitor out in the market at this price point for sure. Well, of course, I'm gonna put it through its paces and let you guys know exactly what it is that I think. And that's what we're gonna be covering in today's video. We're gonna be talking about the OCG7, high bright seven inch on camera monitor that accepts both SDI and HDMI. Okay, so now we're in a parking lot and this is a parking lot with a black top. And as you can see, it's a mixed environment. We're still in the park, but you can hopefully tell from the BTS how well you can actually monitor using the G7 if you were working in a mixed type of environment. Let's move on and check out something different. You should know that this is a sponsored video. We had a boat coming by. While they are in fact sponsoring the channel and me to tell you all about this monitor, it is not going to stop me from sharing my thoughts and opinions about what this monitor is able to do. In fact, OC asked me if they could see the video before I published. And I of course said, no, absolutely not. I mean, you all know me and that would never, ever, ever, ever happen. So now we are on a blacktop. So this is a parking lot that just got it, a brand new black coating on it. So hopefully this will give you guys a sense of how reflective the monitor is and what it is that you might be able to get out of it. As a PSA, you should all know that if you have sunglasses, whenever possible, you should wear them if you're out in the sun because not wearing sunglasses, in other words, allowing sunlight into your eyes as you get older, make it easier for you to end up with cataracts. So if you have sunglasses, wear them. On that note, if your sunglasses are polarized, this monitor is gonna make it very difficult for you to use. So wear your sunglasses. Let's check out concrete. So I've had this monitor for about three months. Over the past few months, I've found myself in a variety of shooting environments. Here's what you need to know. This is a seven inch on-screen monitor with a very, very nice screen that is shiny, which really means it reflects everything. Fortunately, they do include a hood that you could use to make it easier to cut down on reflections. It is in fact very bright. It has a lot of different tools to help you with your exposure. I'll tell you this, I don't use any of them. And the reason why is because the cameras that I shoot with have built-in tools. So I program those tools onto programmable buttons. So whenever I need a tool, I simply press a button and the tool shows up on the monitor. If I was using the OC to do that monitoring for me or bring up that tool for me, I would have to use the joystick because this is not a touch screen. So that joystick allows me to navigate through the menus and get to whatever tools I might need to be displayed. The screen is factory calibrated to Rec. 709. So you get a very nice pleasing image when you're looking at the screen. It's got nice color, nice saturation, nice contrast. So whatever the camera's putting out, it's actually being represented really, really nicely on the monitor. So it accepts a 4K signal going into it via HDMI. The SDI is 3G, which means you will not get 4K via SDI into the monitor. The other thing you should know is that the HDMI and SDI, even though there is an in and an out for each of those, it will not cross convert for you, but it does give you the flexibility to work with basically any camera that's out on the market today. The monitor, being that it's not a touchscreen, you are going to be able to avoid 
all of the fingerprints that you would normally get from a touchscreen. And I'll tell you that from my experience with my small HD monitors that are in fact touchscreen, that's really not a big deal because you can only ever really see the fingerprints when the monitor is turned off. When the monitor is turned on, all you see is a beautiful picture. It does only have one battery slot and it uses a Sony NPF style battery. What that really means to you is there is no such thing as hot swapping batteries, right? There are multiple powering options. For example, if you're in studio, you could use a barrel connector, go straight into the monitor from the wall and you got unlimited power. If you choose to use a V-mount, OC does include a dummy V-mount plate that you can install on the back of the monitor and then power the monitor via D-tap to the barrel connector. And now we are on concrete. And as you guys can see, this kind of tortures the camera. You should know that if you're using this monitor where there's a lot of concrete, so concrete jungle like LA, for example, and you also have lots of tall buildings or other things that could reflect into the monitor, this monitor becomes incredibly reflective, right? So you will want to use the hood. Another PSA. If you're working out in the sun, if you're not working indoors, period, you should wear sunscreen. It's going to be something that you're going to be really thankful for when you get older. This monitor has a built-in fan, and this is how it keeps itself cool and is able to operate at full brightness without overheating or shutting down on you. Build quality on the monitor is actually really nice. Its internal frame is metal or aluminum, so it's lightweight and the outer shell is some sort of rubber or nice feeling rubberized plastic that makes it feel premium, not like some cheap plastic that might break if the temperature changes or something. I haven't used it through a winter yet, which in the winter where I live, it gets really, really bright when you're outside because we are covered in complete snow. So we'll see how it performs then. And I'll be sure to put an update so that you guys can uh, follow up on this. So I'll say this, if I was in the market for a seven inch on-camera monitor that was daylight viewable, I would absolutely have the OCG7 at the very top of my list. If you are the type of shooter that requires a much larger or wider color gamut, like say full coverage of DCI P3, this OCG7 is not for you. If however you're like me and you create content for multiple platforms, everything from social media, YouTube, local broadcast commercials, corporate video, then this monitor might actually be the absolute best bang for your buck. This might be the best budget monitor full of features that offers all the exposure tools that you could ever imagine, as well as work with HDMI and SDI cameras that is in fact daylight viewable at a price that can't be beat. Until next time, I'm Carlos and I will catch up with you guys in the comments. Take care.